Hi guys! So I have a really fun and super easy craft with me video today. I was going through my stash and you know I've been trying to kind of use already what I have and so I was going through and I found my pocket cards that I bought Tim Holtz, right? And so it comes in these three sizes and I was thinking what else do we use them for other than just sticking them in pockets, right? And so I thought, what else could we use these for? Because they're beautiful. They're like a masterboard kind of collage kind of cards, you know what I mean? So I thought there has to be something else that I could use them for. So I came up with five five, not ten, five <laughs> different ideas on how we can use up the pocket cards other than just sticking them in a pocket. So let's go ahead and get started. I, you know that it comes in three sizes. So you've got these smaller ones. And in case you don't have these, in case, let me tell you what the sizes are. So for the smaller size, we are gonna use all three sizes. The smaller size is three by two. So this is three by two, okay? That's the smaller size. This medium size is, this is four by three, okay? And this bigger size is, is six by three okay so just in case you don't have these then you can go ahead and follow along by cutting out your own um, papers so let's go ahead and get started first we're gonna go super easy route so I just got one long one okay so this is the six by three and then we're gonna get a medium, which is the four by three, and then the small, which is two by three. So if you notice, they're all the th uh, three inches in width. So here, let me do it this way. So like that, it's probably easier to see them there. And so all we're gonna do is make it into a three little pocket so that you can actually I did it to where we're actually going to you know what I mean put glue on all three sides and then use this as a pocket this as a pocket and this as a pocket so we can go back here and then do here and then do here so this is going to be let me <laughs> actually stick it in there it goes okay so super easy this is probably the easiest one out of all of them so all we're gonna do is figure out what sides we like i think we'll stick with this just so that you can kind of really see what's what maybe this way okay because this might be a little bit too unless we do i just love that they're double-sided because like that you can really get let's do this okay you can get um, multiple, you know, you can decide what you want. Let's go and do it this way. We're gonna put our little notches first. I like to put the notches because I feel like it kind of really shows you it's a pocket. <laughs> so we're gonna do this. And I just got my one inch round uh, circle punch. And we're just gonna center that right in the middle. And then, pop them out did you see those fly so there we have it now just to kind of really make that stand out I'm getting my ground espresso distress oxide and we're just gonna go ahead and go around the corners just far enough so that you can see because I don't think you need to go too far, especially since we're putting the pockets in, but really getting right where that notch is. Same thing with this one. Don't have to go all the way down, but we are gonna make sure we get the notch really well and then work our way 
midway. And the last one, yeah, we're gonna do this side. This one we can do all the way around. So just inking this, and this is the easiest one. I've had these pocket cards for I don't know how long, and I've never used them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my art glitter glue, and we're gonna do the three sides. And I like to put my hand at the side where I'm not going to, even though we see the notch there, but just kind of making sure that I don't put glue on the wrong side. So we're just gonna even out those ends, make sure that we have it all lined up. There's that, and then the same thing with this one. Holding it at the notch, putting glue on the three sides, and then putting this down. Making sure we have all the sides even and there you have it this one I don't think this one cut right when they made that but there it is so again you just glue this side down or you can keep it this way not a big deal but it's nice and flat you can use this as one pocket this as another and then this as another but either way, you can decorate it, make it look really pretty. If we have time, we might do that. But there you go. So there's project number one. Okay, let's do number two. Let's do this one. This is, again, using the six by three. Then we're gonna decide what side we wanna use. And this is what we're gonna make. Just a little journal journaling add your favorite little notebook paper so I have this and I love this color because it's kind of like a beigey so we'll get maybe about three or four pa papers rip those out and this is exactly why I bought this because I love this paper it's so nice the quality is amazing this one, oh, and I got it at Target, by the way, just in case anybody wants to know. But we're gonna rip, this is another reason why I like it, because you can rip that off. You know what, and actually, this would be really cute to decorate a project with, so keep that, just never know. Okay, so we're gonna fold this down because I like the way this looks, so I want this to be the back. And this, we're just gonna fold down. There's no real measurement. You just fold down as far as you want to. But I'm just gonna fold down maybe three quarters of an inch, maybe. And get my little bone folder. Crease that down. And then I'm gonna get out my paper cutter and I'm just gonna mark where I wanna cut it, just to have it even on both sides. And then how far down. So I'm gonna cut it probably to that second line on the bottom. So let's get out our paper cutter. Save this because we could use that for another project that we're gonna do. And then, just cut off up to that last line. Oops. I was afraid that was gonna happen. Oh, but either way, I got it. It started moving at the last moment. So, that was because I didn't hold it down right. But, there, perfect. I am going to corner round 
just the bottom because the top we're not going to see it we're going to cover it anyways you know what i didn't get that yeah i did i was going to say i didn't get that corner right but i did so we're just going to round just the bottom let's ink all around here going to do both sides since this probably you can glue this down to a page in your journal but I would probably put it just kind of like in a pocket since you know it's something that you could write on just for easier access I guess You can use any stapler. I'm just going to use my my mini my mini stapler. So I have this one, and this one is a Heidi Swap, the little mini stapler. I just want to make sure that this will fold down, and I'm just going to put two right at the top. And I will go in, and this is just my tweezers, the end of my tweezers, just to make sure that it doesn't snag anything. Just the back part of the staples, just so that it won't snag anything and it won't hurt anybody. And just add a little bit of glue there. Fold that down. And there you have it. There's number two. Was that too easy? Cute, right? So there you have your little journal card. I love it. So there's that. There's project number two. Now let's do, that was a journaling, let's do this. This is again using one of the six by three and guess what all we did was fold it up that's it fold it up we are going to use the other two sizes too probably wasn't even in frame i am so sorry but here we are okay folding it up Putting our notches, trying to center it, and here, inking this again, distressing the sides, another super easy one. But like I said, sometimes we just don't think about, you know, we're just like, oh, they're cute, but you know, just leave them there. And don't do too much with them so I thought you know gotta figure out something else to use them with and this same concept super easy you guys total beginner friendly and stick it down and there you have it there's another two pocket little with just one piece right so there's that this was number three we have two more let's do this one this one we're using the medium size and so you're gonna just decide what side you want I think I'll probably put maybe this one as the front no we'll keep this one and then put it this way maybe yeah we'll leave that as the back so using your three i put a little eyelet there if you remember this eyelet was from craftelier isn't that the cutest thing 
and it does very well. It is a little tiny, tiny bit bigger than the the biggest hole that you can cut with your um, that you can punch with your crocodile, but just pushing it through, it was fine. So we're just gonna make again little journal cards, but just having them attached. Cute, right? So I was thinking either we could do the brad, I mean the the eyelet using it this way or we can actually put a brad and then you know if you guys want to journal on them it'll probably be easier see like this it's a little tough to kind of move around because either that or i can actually put it a little bit looser but either way it works so let's go ahead and get some more of the notebook paper i'm just going to get two sheets And again, taking off the ripped edges. We're gonna mark it again. So this is just gonna be like the front cover. See, I didn't put anything on that one. You can, but that's what I did. I just used it as a cover. This, we're gonna go ahead, you know what? First, I'm gonna put the hole so let's, let's see, we're gonna put it here, this side. So let's put that here. And should we put a brad? Where do I have my brads? Is this it? No. Let me get my brads out. So let's see, what brad do we want to use? Something big because I did put a big, um, I have a lot, can you tell? <laughs> do we want to do fancy? Look at that one. Let's see, what else? I wanted something, oh, maybe this one. Oh yeah, look, that's pretty. We'll use that one. Okay. So if we're gonna do this, that's cute, isn't that cute? Then that way we could do it that way. Okay, so we don't have to do that now. Let's go ahead and just measure. What size? We're not gonna put it all the way to the hole. We're gonna let it be a little bit further down. See that? And just mark where we're gonna cut the paper. So it's just two sheets. Get my cutter, my cutter out again. Make sure I hold this down. side okay and we are gonna corner round again all the way around all four And to glue this down, I'm not gonna use, I could use my, um, I'm not gonna use the art glitter glue because I feel like the lines, and I could use um, my stick glue, but for this, I'm going to use just double-sided tape. Okay, oops, got that down on the on my little table. Then we're just going to center that towards the bottom. 
yeah see like that you really don't feel the tape underneath and so it'll be easier to write on and I'm using the side that has the little red line just because I think it looks cute and then this would be our cover I could put an eyelet there but we're just gonna put this we might have to cut well I guess not I was gonna see we might have to cut down the back but there you have it look at that is that too cute I love it this one was perfect for that and then of course again decorate the front make it look really snazzy <laughs> so there's that one the last one it's probably my favorite remember these little booklets that we made with using the tape binding so we're just gonna make a mini one isn't that cute so again if you haven't seen that with the with the um, the tape binding, then I'll make sure to link that video down below so that you guys can see that. And let's get started. Don't forget that when we do make these, that it's always suggested to use um, even number cards, paper. Okay, so you want to use. We're going to use four. So let's decide which one we want as our cover. Mm, let's see. Maybe we'll use this one. Okay, so we'll use this as our cover. And then we're going to put, I guess we could use, yeah, we'll use these sides to put the little sheets on. So I'm gonna get let's see here. I have this paper left over. So we're just going to mark where we want them cut. So we're gonna do here and then about there. So I need one, I only need three. Right, one, two, three, yeah. So let's do three. One, two, three. And then we'll just cut these down. So let's get my little, let's get my mini cutter this time. I have it over here. one I feel like I have a little bit more control over. This one's my favorite. You guys know that I always have this one out. And again, we're going to round the corners. So this is our cover. Let's go ahead and put these down first. Again, I'm going to use my my tape. And just center these right in the middle. There's one. Here's two. Putting this down. And the last one. It's rare when I get to use these little, the 
tape runner. But I love it. Oops, oops, oops. It was going down before I needed it to. There. Okay. Now, let's move all of this aside. And we're going to get our fabric tape. And for this one, we need, uh, how many did I say? Let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight little pieces. So I'm gonna get my, just cut out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And we're going to do the 3-2 method. So we're going to get our first page, put three on the cover, putting it on the top, one on the bottom, and then we're going to center the middle one. Come on. Okay. Turning that over, getting the next sheet. This one we're putting two. And we're going to put it right in the middle of the three. So we're putting it here. And here. Okay. Now we're going to put these over this way in the direction that they're supposed to open. Okay. We're going to even these out and then put the first three down, so which is the top, the middle, and the bottom, leaving the two that we just put, and then we're going to put three on this one. This is super duper easy, you guys. This is a, a nice way to, when you want to use cards, and you want them to be bound together somehow, this is the perfect way because normally if you want to use the regular binding, you know, the sewn binding, then you have to do it um, where the sheets or the papers are folded in half. But this way, you can pretty much put anything together as a booklet. especially when they're itty bitty like this. Oops. It got stuck. Okay, so here we're putting the two because that's what we did first. And then we just did the three. So we're gonna put the last sheet, the last page, and then the three. So does that make sense? So we did the three, then the two, then three, then two, then three. Okay, and there you have your little journal book. Is that too cute? And of course, decorated to your heart's content, but look how many we used already doing all of these. So remember we did the three pocket, one, two, three. Using the journal cards as is. This one we did this way, the two page journal. Again, decorating it would be super cute. 
This is just using the one, the six by three, and this gives you two pockets. There's that one. We have our little flip journal. Cute, right? And then we have our little journal booklets. Not bad, huh? We did five in 30 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. But that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. This was super fun. I was um, happy to be able to figure out what else we can use our journal cards for, our pocket cards. And there you have it. We have five different little ways to use them and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what was your favorite. The three pocket, the two pocket, the, what do we call this? The, um, oh my gosh, what do we call this? The little slide? <laughs> the bread let's just do a little the little brad notebook the little flip notebook and the little booklet tell me which one's your favorite <laughs> thank you so much for watching you guys uh, i appreciate it um all of you guys for um being patient with me throughout this whole process <laughs> and i will see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe all that jazz i also have my email um down below i appreciate those who have been sending me your pictures you guys you guys are so nice for sending me pictures of the um, projects that we've been doing, how you guys have been being able to follow along, which is amazing. And um, sending me, you know, all of your projects that you guys have been making along with me. So that is so much fun. I so appreciate you guys doing that. That is a lot of fun. Just kind of seeing how you guys are able to follow along, which is my goal, of course, is to be able to bring you guys projects that we can do together. And knowing that you guys are able to follow along, that means that I'm doing my job right. So thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you who have been sending me your pictures. Um, I appreciate everything, all of your emails, all of, you know, you guys wanting to just reach out to me, sharing um, little tips and tricks that you guys have. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.